What if I told you that the background in this video you are about to watch now is faked? Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Learn with Mr. Boki here and in today's video, I want to show you how you can change your video background using CapCut. We all know how expensive it can be to set up a video in Nigeria. So because of that, I've made some research and come out with a way whereby you can shoot your video anywhere and change your background. And here is the original video. Hello guys. Welcome to my channel, Learn with Mr. Boki here and in today's video, I want to show you how you can change your video background using CapCut. We all know how expensive it can be to set up a video in Nigeria. So because of that, I've made some research and come out with a way whereby you can shoot your video anywhere and change your background. Now, you can see here is outside of my house because I just parked in here for like a few weeks ago so I have not really made my house okay. So I said, I want to come outside my house and shoot a video so that I will change the background and show you how you can do it. Now, this is how where I am looks like. You can see it right. This is how I set my shot. I have the tripod on my laptop to record my voice and everything. And here is me standing. You can see here is my house, the estate where I live. So in this video, when I'm done with this video, you will think that this video was shot inside a studio. Like, but it's a fake studio. So I want to show you the way whereby you can shoot your video anywhere in the world and change your background and look so professional. Don't worry, okay? Just pay attention and watch to the end and I'll show you how to do it. Now, let's go. So after you have completed shooting your shot and now it is time to change your background. Now, how do you get this background? How do you get this YouTube studio background? Before you do that, let me tell you, before you shoot your shot, as you've seen in my video, make sure that your shot is shot in a very plain background. It could be either white or any color, but it should be plain, plain background. For me, I took my shot outside my house, so there was lightning, like there was sunlight. But through the editing, I dimmed the light and made it look so professional. Now, how do you get this background? So, there's a website that I'll show you whereby you will get all these backgrounds, all these YouTube Studio backgrounds. Now, come to your browser and click on this website. You can see it, right? Right here is the website freepick.com and enter. So this website allows you to download YouTube Studio background for free. When you start for the first time, they will give you like 30 free backgrounds. So after which you will subscribe. So now when you come into this website, come here in this search bar here and search for YouTube Studio background. YouTube studio okay you can see it here at the bottom right now click on it so if you click on it you can scroll down and see all here are different pre-designed youtube studio background you can choose any of them that you want you can see it right so this is where i got the background i use in that video so i think this is the background i use so you can choose any one that you feel like it will be fine for your video so now let me say for instance i want to download this one i think i have this one so i'll come here and click on it if I click on it, you'll see here download. Click on download. Now, for me, I have created an account with them. But for you, for the first time, if you click on download, they will show you where to sign in with your email account. After that, you will download. So, for the first time, they will give you 30 free YouTube studio pictures. After which, as I said, you will subscribe and start using their services. It's a very nice website. And when you have gotten your background ready, as I said, now it's to come and change your background and make the editing. Now, in this video, I'm using CapCut. Here is CapCut. In case you don't have CapCut, I have made a video on my channel on how to download and install CapCut. So come here and click on your CapCut to open. Make sure you watch to the end so that you don't miss anything. Okay, here is CapCut. So come here and click on this new project so that you will create a new project. Alright guys, so once your CapCut opens, the next thing you do is that you will import your files into CapCut. So I'll click on this import. Here is my video file and here is my background. I will select them and take them into CapCut. Okay, you can see right here is the background that I just downloaded and here is my video. Hello guys, so welcome to my channel, Learn with Mr. Boki here. You can see this is how I shot the original video. So by the time I'm done with the editing, you see that the background will be changed. Now, first of all, I will drag the background into the timeline. I'll now drag Hello guys. this video clip Welcome. and place it at the top of the background. Just follow all the steps. I can stretch the timeline to fit the screen. So I'll now drag the background so that it will fit with the video clip. Now you can see that I've dragged the book clips into my timeline. Now I'll now click on my video clip. If I click on it, I'll come to cut out. 
you can see a cutout i'll click on cutout so i'll come to this o2 cutout and click on it you can see processing so it is processing by this process it is trying to change this background so that it will fit me into the studio background so just wait for a few minutes while it processes the time that it takes depends on the length of the video so just wait while it processes all right guys so when it is done processing you can see right here my background has been changed entirely you can see it right how awesome it is very great so i can now adjust the image to fit the background I can double click on it and change the position and make it to fit as if I am inside the background. So I can come here and hold it here and drag it to make it bigger or smaller. So you can just do it and play with it and make it fit how you want it. So I can also come to this background here, the real background. I can come and click on the background, pull it and drag it to come closer to the image so that the whole thing will zoom in. Let me play it a bit so that you will see how it looks like. Hello guys. Welcome to my channel, Learn with Mr. Bok here and in today's video, I want to show you how you can change your video background using CapCut. Now, if you look carefully, you see that the lightning in the background and the lightning on my image is kind of different. As I said, I took my shot outside my house. The sunlight reflection is pointing at my image directly. So it's making the lightning on my image here look entirely different from the lightning on the background. So now how do I run the whole thing together? There's one thing I did. Now I'll click on the click here. I'll come to filters and select a color. Here is the feature I use. If I click on it here a bit, you see that the color will be changed. You can see it's we right. We don't know it how is. expensive it can be to see. It is up. looking a bit dimmer. Okay, but I'm not done yet. So I will click on it and drag it and place it at the video click. Now you can see it's right. If I play it a bit, you will see how it looks. Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. Learn with Mr. Bok here. And in today's video, I want now you can see that right now the image here is kind of rhyming with the background. It is looking as if I sat in the background and took this shot. But even now I'm still not done yet. Now I'll still come here and click on the shot. I'll come to this basic. If I come to basic, I will scroll down a bit. Now you can see here relight. I will select this relight. Now I'll come to this creative and click on it. Here are the features like you can see this feature how it looks like. It looks as if it is studio light. So for me, in that video that I made, I use this feature, so I'll click on it. You can see it is processing. So when it's done processing, you see that this light will be illuminating and reflecting on my image. I see with the studio light. Just wait while it processes. When this is done processing, this color feature will be applied in the video. Now let me place it so that you will see how it looks. Hello guys. Welcome to my channel, Learn with Mr. Bok here. And in today's video, I want to show you, you can how see you it can right. change so your this video color feature cord. is moving around as we if all know how it is a studio lightning. A video in so as I said, you can always adjust this image. You can click it and shift it to any position. You can put it at the center or anywhere and adjust it. You can see it right. Just play around with it and make it to look the way you want it perfectly. Hello guys. Welcome to my channel, Learn with Mr. Bok here. And in today's video, I want to show you how you can change your video background using CapCut. We all know how expensive it can be to set up a video in Nigeria. So because of that, I've made some research and come up with a way whereby you can shoot your video anywhere and change your background. Now, you can see here is outside of my house. Because I just parked in here for like a few weeks ago, so I have not really made my house okay. So I said, I want to come outside my house and shoot a video so that I will change the background and show you how you can do it. Now, this is how where I am looks like. You can see it, right? This is how I set my shot i have the tripod with my laptop to record my voice and everything and here is me standing you can see here is my house the estate where i live so in this video when i'm done with this video you will think that this video was shot inside a studio like but it's a fixed studio so i want to show you the way whereby you can shoot your video anywhere in the world and change your background and look so professional guys so just stay tuned and watch to the end so that you know how to change your background so if you're new here for the first time after watching this video Make sure you click and subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment so that you stay tuned in case I load new videos. Now, let's get into the editing. Now, after the whole editing, you come into this export and click on export. Set the export settings and export your video, and it will be done. It's very simple, guys. So, guys, if you're new here for the first time, after watching this video, make sure you click and subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment so that you stay tuned in case I load new videos. Thank you, all, guys, and see you all, guys, in my next video. Bye.